Hey everybody, it's the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to the channel, and here's a new game, which I've been fiddling around with a little bit, and um, I actually really like this game, but um, <laughs> on the other hand, it's a little confusing. Uh, and uh, this is, of course, uh, the new DLC, and uh, you're going to be seeing all this too, so I might as well pull this up. FCCW Southern Storm. Okay, so here we go. We've got the game, and uh, this is the uh, manual on PDF. And we're going to be looking at the first scenario, or the first, I'm sorry, the first tutorial. So let's come down here. They put the tutorials on the bottom. Here you go. Please go to the help menu, open it up, blah, blah, blah. Your mission, your mission is to move your armored cav regiment troops to secure two bridges, east and southeast of Bad Durheim, and eliminate any Soviet attempt to cross in this area. Now, I've tried this several times, sort of kind of following the tutorials best I can. <clears throat> Didn't work too well. We got a handful of armored scout sections, two platoons of M1A1 tanks, which died like crazy. I was amazed. I don't know if this is before they had Chobham armor, because this is back in the 80s. Uh, but anyway, uh, I got some mortars, which are pretty awesome, and two ed headquarter units. So here we go. We are going to have the... Yep. And this is what they suggest you do in uh, the tutorial. Um, we'll just try to keep up with this. Here we go. You can see they want custom... They want allow browsing of spotted enemy units. See, it's hard to read some of this. See imported victory points objectives uh, accurately and see unspotted terrain markers accurately. So there's a lot of uh, you can do here, play with around with this. And obviously look at this. You can check the difficulty settings as well. So it's got a lot of stuff going. This game has depth like you won't believe. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and it's not uncomplicated. If you like complicated games, this is your game, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, it says your forces are composed of two groups, uh, two groups of units, extensive descriptions, which are found in blah, blah, blah. Well, you can drag and drop your starting units into any group. We're not going to bother with that because I don't even sure uh, what that is. But to notice one of the things, notice right off the bat, you can move, you can also just turn this off. You can also move it. So if you want to keep it, but it's kind of in the wrong spot, it will go wherever you want it to go. So we're just going to slide it down a little bit. Here's our boys. And here's the two victory hexes that we're going for. And this is the map. Now this, I think this is really um, a beautiful game. I, I like it. You can zoom in, although the zoom is you pull back on your mouse key to zoom in. Sometimes it works. There we go. And you push forward on the 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 scroll, the uh, the whatever it is, the roller thing, <laughs> the roller thing. That's real good to zoom out. You can also, uh, if you want to move, if you put it, yeah, right at the edge. Don't just go over here, but just hold it at the edge. The map moves. Or you can just grab it and, you know, drag it, and that will work as well. Now, obviously, this map doesn't go very far that way because it's just a small little scenario. So, or that way either. You can pull down here. You got some destroyed bridges, destroyed bridges, and then here we go. All right, so let's uh, go back to the tutorial. And the basics, reviewing the screen. At the top of the screen is the game menu. Uh, below that's the game map. Zoomed out to 60%. Uh, there are core floating panels. The game panel at the top, the command panel, and the spotlight panel, and the mini map. And on the screen is the log panel for your forces. So, in other words, here we go. So, that's the setup. Here we go. Colonel Reynolds. And you've got all these buttons, which just tell you. And this is the mini map, which you can also use, obviously, to get around in if you want to. Um, and um, so, for example, if you want to look at the scenario information, boom, we've seen that before. But you can refresh your memory with that. Uh, you can look at the ops. Bam. So here we go. 
this is kind of what we know. We'll be going through this here in a moment. But just to show you some of these buttons, there's like buttons for everything <laughs> and all kinds of information. Man, if you're an information junkie, you're going to love this game. Okay, uh, there are two visible. Yeah, we saw those, the, the bridges. Uh, looking at the mission. Now we want to look at the mission overlay to understand better where the fight will be. On the menu, select staff and then select show mission graphics. So on the menu, select staff. Yeah, because we got the menu up here. Don't forget. Um, and then show mission graphics. Uh, do, 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 do. Show user mission graphics. There we go. So here we are. Um, as you can see, the Soviets will be coming in that way. And they have, it looks like, a the 15th Guards Motor Rifle Regiment. We are coming in, of course, from the other side. And we just have an Armored Cavalry Regiment. And so that's the area where we will be fighting over. On the left, it's, yeah, blah, blah. Okay, so terrain evaluation with the Maku. Here we go. The Modified Combined Obstacle Overlay, or Maku. It's no wonder that the military uses these games in, in, in uh, for real. They do. It's probably a different version of it, of course, but because the military loves to just, you know, loves to take these words and make them into little things. And so, yeah, there we go, the Maku. Look near the bridge. Uh, okay, the guy, blah, 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 blah. And see if the approach... Okay, look near the bridge, and we see that the approach to your objective area is relatively open terrain, adding to your situation. The rivers are restricting your movement. The enemy does have to deal with slow-go terrain or use a limited number of roads to move to the engagement area. There's also a couple of rivers that will be a problem for them. Checking line of sight. Checking loss is the next thing we want to do to see how well your forces can see the terrain based on sensors and weather. Um, there's several different ways to do this. The simplest way is just like, let's pick him and control L. Blam. Now we can see what he can see. You can see all these hexes, and then you've got these further out you go. We'll show you that. So you can do this with any unit you want. Now, suppose you want to see, well, what could I see from different spots on the map? Well, if you just click, then... Um, there. Blam. Uh, yeah, okay. Hide that. So that's showing us now some of this terrain here. Let's go back to the tutorial. I think I got a little ahead of myself. Um, another is looking at the terrain to find good report locations. Once the loss is active, you can shift click a hex. That's what I was trying to do and I forgot. So um, let's see what happens if I just do this. Let's take that off. There we go. Now let's shift click. Oh, it's not on. Hold on. Okay, now it's on. So now let's say I want to see what I can see from, uh, from let's just say right here. Shift, click, boom. That's what you can see. There you go. So that gives you an idea of what you can see and what you can't see. And it is kind of interesting um, that, um, oops. Shift click, go away. Fire. Okay. Yeah. But the approaches here seem to be pretty well hidden. That's an interesting for the the Russian approaches. You know, like I can't standing off and shooting at them. Uh, it's been a difficult thing for me to figure out. Although that's what the tutorial will tell me to do. Um. So yeah. So anyway, that shows you how you can. Um, um, check the line of sight for your units. Okay. Checking the low set the objectives. Another line of sight check is at the objectives to see how open or restricted the visibility is. In the picture below, the northern area has poor visibility out of the objective hexes. If the enemy enters this area, they will be hard to spot and engage. Of note, there is a line of sight into the ridge to the east of the objective. This will help the Soviets see the area if you occupy the objective. Okay, the case is reversed in the southern objective area. Your forces can see the objective from the high ground west of the objective. So I guess he's 
I'm not sure where the the hex that he's clicking on is exactly, but I'm gonna guess it's maybe there. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, so that's what they can see. So that means if I'm sitting here, then I can see it, right? Let's let's just make sure about that. Boom! Holy smokes! Yeah, I guess so. And uh, sort of. This looks like 78 here. It's pretty good. But see, you can't get back into here. But once they come down into here, you should be able to shoot at them if you put your units there. Okay. Checking possible enemy line of sight. Knowing what the enemy can see will go a long way to help your battle plan. Take some time to look for a few key spots the enemy might use and understand where your units will be vulnerable to battle. So clearly, this is a nightmare. If that's the hex, and that must be it. Yeah, that is really not good. <laughs> they can see almost everything, and that uh, yeah, that's a little freaky. Um, let's look at that. So that would be. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's. That should be this hex. Go away. Oh, wrong button, sorry. Boom. Yeah, that's it. Um, whew. Let's zoom out a little. Try one more. There we go. Look at that. Man, that is a primo spot for them to be uh, fighting from. That's for, oops, <laughs> don't ask me how I did that. That's for sure. Um, all right, back to the tutorial, checking your forces. Okay, so now here's where um, here's where we get to see some of the details that this thing has on its units. So let's turn this off and um, oh, let's can we? There we go. We'll get rid of the line of sight. Now, this is the uh, second Cav Scout, okay? And they've got two M3A1 Bradleys, two Reese and two APCs in the hex. And this tells you all about them, right? And if you want to know what subunits make this guy up, well, here you go. You get the Bradley, Bradley, Cavalry Scout, Cavalry Scout. And as you click them, of course, all the goodies pop up there. If you double-click them, this opens up. And you can go and look at everything about this unit. Um, it's amazing. Sensors, if you want to get into that. Systems that it has. The platform itself. Crew of three. Carrying capacity one point. It's got all this stuff. Man, I'm telling you, if you like... If you're really into detailed stuff, boy, this game system is... There we go. Homemade for you. Uh, this is awesome stuff. Uh, let's go back and look at these guys. My M1A ones. Um, Subunits. There we go. We just have four of them. And of course, they're all pretty much the same. Um, there we go. I wonder if it says that they have Chobham armor. I didn't really look. Uh, advanced composite armor. That should be the Chobham, right? Um, so I'm really surprised they died as quickly as they did, but they did. So we'll see if we can do better this time around. 150 victory point costs from 1987, it says. So there you go. Um, so that's how you find out one of the ways. I'm sure there are many other ways you can go through the menus and all that. You can find out about your units. Uh, yeah, let's do. Let's look at the mortar unit. They do that here, and uh, that's. I think that's you. No, that's the HQ. Forget that. There we go. Yeah, this is the mortar unit. And boy, these guys. Whew, these guys can bring the pain. Now, there's only three of these, of course. Um, but there you go. Gives you all the info there. Um, this is different. So, okay. Yep. All right. So there you go. 
that's a look at how you can really get into um, your units. Okay, we're not going to mess with the looking at the HQ because it's, you know, whatever. Okay, so take some time to review the available staff reports by clicking on all the buttons on the command panel. Okay, so here's the command panel. Now, we already looked at the HQ, but we'll just, yeah, so there you go. That's just like if you double-click it, you get the same information. Notice they've got two Abrams as well as these guys, so they do have some firepower. Let's see, the scenario information we already covered. If you click it again, this all disappears. So this gives a kind of an overview. Uh, we must secure more than your initial share of victory points to win. A decisive victory requires 87 per 6 of the total victory points won. Tactical 79, marginal 70. Yee. So there you go. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, um, yeah, both victory hexes are worth 500 points each. Uh, threat assessment, that tells us they're coming. We can look at the enemy sit rep. You can look at the EW report, off-map ass off assets, if they have any, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see. Personnel and logistics staff report. <laughs> All right, we're all fine there. Um, you got that. And you got that. So, like I said, tons, literally tons of information in this game. It's like crazy. Okay, planning is essential, but no plan survives first contact with the enemy. Probably should have said. Having to plan to fight uh, and having ideas on contingencies is necessary. So... Now, this is one of the places where it, it, this tutorial kind of annoys me a little bit because in a tutorial, I would rather just be told, take your units, move them there, do this, do that. And then, you know, if there's like other, you know, possibilities, show me later. But let me go through the tutorial, first of all, just keeping it simple and going one step at a time, but they don't do this here. You got the green, you got the blue, you got the yellow, the red, the orange. <sighs> this is where the Abrams are supposed to go. Um, so it's a little confusing. So let's see if we can uh, now. And and they have us charge into the town itself, which surprised me because I thought we might stand off and fire. But they have the scouting units actually just running, as you can see here. Just going right in there and setting up, trying to hold or at least screen. So, um, yeah, that's um, that's going to be tricky. So they want us to put the Abrams, I guess, right here, which let's just see. Whoops. That gives me a little bit of view. What if I put myself here? Okay. Um, that seems where they want us to go. So there. All right. So we're going to take, um, some of these things pop up and then they won't go away and it does get a little annoying. First of all, we're going to, oops, I went the wrong way. To me, I roll forward to scroll to, to zoom in, but that's not how this works. So, all right, so let's take you and, um, okay, hold on. Let's make sure I'm remembering this properly. Um, moving your forces. While holding shift, click on the, yeah. Okay, that's what I forgot. So we will shift. We will take you. Um, we're going to put a movement point there. That's not working. Why not? Something's wrong. Okay, hold on. Ah, all right, we're going to move hasty. So we're going to come here. 
We're going to come down here. We're going to come through there. And we're going to go right here. And then we will commit to that. And when I get there, we're going to hold. Um, who's cover? I don't really know. Let's say they'll screen. Okay, so now I'm going to come up here and grab you. Right click, move hasty. We're going to move you to here. And then down here. And here. And put you uh, there. And commit. And we'll say you're going to screen. Okay, I have no idea if this is the right thing I should be doing, but we're doing it. So there you go. Um, yeah, we got to move fast because the, the Ruskies are... And yeah, see, you can move that out of the way if you want to. The Russians are coming. So we're going to go here and here and here. Commit. Screen. Okay, so you are going to move hasty. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, and there. Oh, commit. We'll screen. Okay, so we're going to move you hastily to here. And you know what? Here. So I know the Soviets could come down this road, so we probably should guard against it. So let's just move right there and see if we can't screen that. All right, hasty move. Move there. Um, just move right there. Okay, let's take you. This is a little dreary. You can move these in groups. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, which is why I'm not doing it. But you can do that. So obviously, in most of your... Most of your games, that's probably what you'll do. Um, but it's not what I'm doing because, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing really. So, you know, we're going to put him out there just to sort of be the uh, advanced warning. Okay, so you're done, you're done. You're the mortar guy. And I want you... You don't need to be in a huge hurry. Let's just put you right in here. Might give you a little cover if they decide to fire back. On call. Okay, I think that's about what I'm going to do. So let's, um, yeah, you can do all this stuff in any order you want, you know. So um, get through. let's just see if we can get through all this. And then... Like I said, the tutorial is, is detailed. I'll give them that much. Um, okay, so standard operating procedures. Um, click one of the tank platoons. Uh, select the hole. It should be hold. Okay, well, can we change that? Let's just see if we can change what I screwed up. SOP manager. Um, generous, moderate, medium range. Um, I don't see anywhere where it says hmm 
Um, bum, 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 bum. I'm actually going to say maximum from my experience. Uh, apply to all units of the same type. Proceed. All right, well, we'll just see how this works. So if you want to go now and get things started, you press F9. Here we go. Over here, you can see it says 10 minutes, 9 minutes. So this is telling me what's going on. Uh, by the way, this has weather up here, which I didn't even mention. I don't think it really plays a role in this game. I think the sound is probably too loud. <laughs> Hold on while I, I'll fix that in a minute. M1s is up there, and I don't know. Uh, oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. Why is my M1 doing this? I did not tell you to do that. What is happening? Oh, boy. Okay. No. Uh. shooting at him. What's happening? Don't like having my tanks that close. I didn't want to get my tanks that close. Okay, we've destroyed a couple of them. What about over here, though? Oh, boy. This is not working out the way I wanted it to. Ugh. Tanks, what are you doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. Did there be... Ooh, we, did we destroy them? Yeah! Well, maybe it will work out alright. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so now that should not start it again. I don't know what I did that last time. I'm not sure what's happening here, people. Uh, <laughs> what are you What are you doing, dude? You're not doing what I told you to. So we're going to move you to here. Commit. And we're going to tell you to hold. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, meanwhile, they will have Germans coming up here, and I didn't actually assign anybody there, did I? Well, I'm going to now. Um, you're going to come down here. And you're going to try and hold. You are going to move hastily, and you're going to come down here and here and you're going to screen everybody else should have their orders um, I don't actually know if the HQs like um, how close they need to be or does it make a difference or anything else so we'll move him up there uh, and screen and we'll just leave him well alright we'll move him I'll move him, I'll move him. Why not? Let's put him in Marbach. And we'll just screen. All right. And we're waiting to get some good Russian units where I can pound them into guacamole with this. Having said all that, let's hit F9 and proceed. Proceed. 
How come no one's going up north like I told them to? What happened? What did I do? See, I have no idea. Like I said, this game is complex. So, you know, it's just the way it is. So, uh, there you go. All right. Um, uh, how about you? We're going to move you hastily here. Here. And you're going to scream. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. I haven't seen as many Russians as I thought I would in these past games. Now, so this brings up one point, and, and I don't know um, which, what's, you know, which is true here in terms of the AI, how it works, if it's scripted or blah, blah, blah. But this feels really different than the other two games I played. So it could be that the AI sort of adjusts on the fly. So by the way, I'm assuming this will start the turn. Yeah, that's F9. So you can just click the start button if you prefer or just hit F9. And they give you a chance to back out in case you boo-booed. And then it's on. I do like the Wego system, even though I've done nothing but got my butt kicked in all of the tutorials I've played. Oh, there we go. This may not be good. This may not be good. Oh, crap. They destroyed a Bradley already. Ah! All right. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, you guys, this is not how I set you up. Man. Um, all right, first of all, I don't know what the, I mean, I know the difference in speed. I don't know if it makes any difference in, in, um, let's say hold for him. Let's bring you, uh, oh, I should probably tell him to move. Always helps. Let's put you right there in the town. And we are going to try to hold. Now, I know about where he is, but I don't want to use the mortars until I'm sure of where he is. Now, let's just see. All right, they have pretty good view there. And his is not as good. A little better down south. So, all right. We'll just live with that, I hope, and see what goes on. Oh, always forget. There we go. Oops. Man. Russian infantry. Ah, here we go. Down south, we got them stacking up against my brads, too. So, I don't know. No, that's not good. They're kicking my butts with their anti-tank stuff. Pull back, pull back. Oh, no. No. He wasn't wiped out. Tell me he was not wiped out. Oh, crap. This is really bad. He's being hit by something. I don't know what effect it's having. Is the is our mortar actually it looks like our mortar's firing there and I didn't tell it to. Which means maybe the thing yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Um Does it Emily blah 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 sit rep. Um Unit status dead. That's really bad. So I've lost one unit already. Um, we've had units that fell out. So I, 
they're dead, so I guess they were knocked out. This guy's had a couple that fell out. I guess those are casualties, or they had, did they have mechanical issues? Don't know. It doesn't say. Or at least I don't know enough to know what it says. Um, I can't fire them. This is really. All right, let's just be calm. We shall be calm and see what proceeds here. I want to see the enemy so I can do some. Oh, crap. I got their tanks. Those are T-72s. Uh, T-64B1. Come on. Come on, boys. Kill a few of them. Please. What about you? Can you do something here? Shoot! Getting any of them. Yes! 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 Excellent! So putting those tanks there did work. Still working. Beautiful. Oh, he moved. That's not good. Oh, no, what? Why did he do that? Oh crap, I lost another unit. Ugh. These, uh, man, these scouting units are just weak as weak can be. And these guys are doing nothing. I ordered you to move, but you're not. I got one minute. I don't know, man. I don't think their idea of crossing and taking these works very well, but I haven't seen anything else that works either, so. Um. And I don't know if the inf where that infantry guy is. I need to know that. All right, so maybe you'll move if we tell you to. Commit. Screen. And we got nothing down here. These guys hopefully... Wait a minute, did they take losses? They took losses. Subunit status is a fallen out. I don't. So look at that. In that engagement, we lost an Abrams and one fell out. I don't know if that means they're damaged or if they just got lost or whatever. See, I would. I guess maybe I just completely overestimate the Abrams, but which is certainly possible. But it seems to me, from that distance against that level of Soviet tank, they should not be having that happen. Oh crap, there he comes. Ugh. Please tell me you can shoot at him. Come on, Abrams. Come on, we need you to shoot at him. No. Apparently not. Ugh. Wow, this is bad. Alright. Can't see him. And you, you little worthless coward. You can't see him either. All right. Um, I think before we get you cut off, we're going to move you over here. Because I don't like the way this is looking at all. Um, here, come here. Uh, yeah, we're going to move you. Oh, well, I should have said we're hasty. I'd like to try and get into the Soviet rear, but I'm just sure it can't happen. I don't... I mean, there's no victory points back there, so there's no real reason, game reason, for me to do it. So we'll go there. And you... Um, barrage. Now, this is cool. Suppression fire, neutralizing fire, or smoke. We are going to neutralize this guy. So, let's hope that that works. And, um, yeah, we don't want to edit anything. That's fine. Boom. Go. Oh, another unit snap. Oh, crap. There. Oh, no. 
Get them mortars. Come on, mortars. Tear them up. Both those scout units are down to one. They're gonna die. They got one unit. He's dead. Come on, other units. Move. Why aren't you moving? I don't understand this. Uh, run away. <laughs> you need to run away, dude. I hope there's some units in there. I can't see. You can see all the little explosions there? Yeah. And they also... I'm trying to get zoomed in here. It doesn't do it real smoothly on this my computer when the game's running. Hold on. They do have little leftover tanks when tanks die. You can sort of see them right here. But we'll zoom in a little closer to it. And you can see here... Little crosses, they keep popping up. Now, I'm not sure what that means. If it means, like, enemy, or does that include civilians? Does that include, um, not time. Does that include, uh, why, why are you up? Oh, I guess to get a better view from there? Okay, fine. Uh, okay, see, we're just in completely deep doo-doo now. I mean, we still hold this, but. <laughs> All right. And it's 41 minutes long, and I think this might be a good spot because I've never even tried to save a game if I can save this. Um, save the game. Yeah, let's look at that. Uh, sure. We'll proceed. Oh, good Lord, look at... Apparently, it automatically saves things. <laughs> That's a good sign. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, that will do it for this first video. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this. Be sure and check out more that will be coming uh, down the road. So until next time, this is the Board Gaming Guy saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. If you think I've earned it, please subscribe. And I will see you later.